What is going on guys, it is Crow Gaming here today bringing you guys a video, uh, kind of like a tips slash tricks video here on Advanced Warfare. I got some live commentary here today, doing a little bit of team deathmatch action. Hopefully, this is only my second game of the day, so hopefully I'll be able to <clears throat> warm up a little bit. But I wanted to make this video because I know when I wanted to get better at Call of Duty, I was looking uh, for videos on YouTube. Um, like some tips and tricks of how to get better from like optic or phase, you know things of that nature And I just couldn't find anything so I want to make that video in case anybody out there um, Well, I figured that's why you're watching the video wants to get better So the first thing is how you're gonna grip the controller and I know this may not be that big of a deal to you guys I know a lot of you play normal um, And if you're not I play claw sometimes I don't normally play claw, but uh, That was a bad play on my part, but I, I normally do play call because well, I don't normally play call. I normally play it when it's like a fast-paced game or I'm playing ranked play. Uh, be just because you can get around faster, and that wasn't good either. Um, claw basically is where you take your index, your right index finger, and you use it for the Y, B, A, X on Xbox, and then the X triangle square circle on PlayStation. Um, it just like helps for a faster crouch and a faster reload, and you know things of that nature. And what are you doing, buddy? Thank you. I don't know, I just, if you're doing like a faster paced game, I would go with Claw, but if you're not, you know, if you like to sit back, just go with Normal, because there's no reason to keep reloading and to maybe do some drop shots. Uh, if, you're, if you don't feel comfortable using the, the, the uh, Claw, because your first couple weeks of using it, it doesn't it doesn't feel right. It's not, it's not a normal feeling, and it shouldn't feel right to you, but um, then you can always invest in a scuff controller. They're quite pricey, but... Um, they do have the back pedals in the back, so, you know, that can be an advantage. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is look at the minimap. The minimap lets you know, this is not, this isn't obvious, I mean, it just lets you know where all the enemies are at, so you can make plays, you know, um, on Advanced Warfare when they do the EXO movement, you can see it on the minimap. I probably look at the minimap a good 50, 50 some, I uh, didn't look at it that time, uh, a good 50% of the time, just because, it, I don't know, it's just a nice tool, it's nice to have. And there's also a perk where you can expand the minimap, which is a good perk, but I just leveled up, so I don't have that perk yet. Wow. Okay, that guy's just camping in the building. Uh, next thing is the play style. Are you somebody that I, that I am, that likes to run and gun, uh, maybe use some SMGs? You are still sitting in there. Wow. Um, or you like to be like that guy, where you just like to sit and be a camper and, you know, not play the game. <laughs> um, do you like to sit back or do you like to get up close and personal? I like to get up close and personal. I just feel like you get more kills doing that and you get a better experience playing it like that. I don't know. That's just how I play and how I like like to play. Or you have a sniper that likes to sit back, you know, maybe a trick shot or you definitely want to figure that out before you want to try to go competitively or pro. Uh, and then... Uh, this isn't obvious. Okay, I didn't know if he was sitting there. Nope, he's right there. Wow. Uh, the time and practice. You're gonna put a lot of time and practice into your game playing. I mean, this is. There's always that phrase, "practice makes perfect," but that's not true. But, um, yeah, just just invest a lot of time into it. Just just crank it out of just playing. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying play hours on hours on hours on hours, but you're definitely gonna want to play a decent amount of time to get used to the game. You're not gonna be good per se, your first time playing, and that's an obvious, and I'll take that. Um, so, I've been playing Call of Duty for about seven years. I started on Modern Warfare 2, which would, would be, I guess, seven years. Um, so that's why I'm, I guess, semi-good, that's what you'd call it. Next thing is the game mode. Are you gonna play on Team Deathmatch, like a team mode, or are you gonna, obviously it's team, <laughs> team mode, or are you gonna play on something such as, like, Free For All, where you don't have that team chemistry. And that's another thing, you're gonna want to play with, I'm not saying you're gonna want to, but it's it's an advantage if you play with somebody you know, like your friends or something, because you're not gonna get good if you're just playing with randoms, and I'm playing with randoms right now, so that's why I'm not doing too hot right now. Um, play with your friends, get get some couple friends together, and just, just play, make sure they have the same mindset as you. Do they wanna, you know, play to have fun, or would they like to play to, win games like I, I play the win games and it's a lot of fun playing um, but I 
I like playing competitively. It's just what I, I like doing. So I play with friends that also like to play competitively because I don't want somebody on my team that's not in it to win. That's not in it to. I'm probably gonna talk. What are you doing camping there? I got a warboard. Okay. Uh, and then ranked play is also a great thing to do. Um, you're gonna play with people around your skill level. That way you're not playing with somebody that's not too bad and it's not fun for you. Okay, thank you, he's gonna say. Or you're not playing with somebody that is extremely good and it's not making the game fun. Um, you, you're just gonna keep dying if you, you know. I, I, I love ranked play because it lets me play with people of my same, my same uh, skill level and I am not getting anything with this warbird. No, I am not. Wow. Okay, that was a waste. <laughs> oh. Come on. Thank you. So yeah, I, I've been, I, I think the, one of the main things is your friends and time and practice. And I should not chase that guy, but I'm going to anyways. Thank you. Apparently I don't have accuracy either. <laughs> Yeah, just, I don't know, just the time and practice would definitely be a good thing. And those are really all the tips I could give you guys. I can't really, some of them are, you know, a given, but then some of them you're going to want to figure out for yourself, like how you want to hold it, your play style, uh, your game mode. But then there's obvious ones like uh, friends and <coughs> um, the menu map and rank play. Rank play is an extremely useful tool. And this game is almost over, so I'm going to see if I can wrap this up real quick. Okay, or not, they can just sit in those corners, that's also nice as well. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Are you serious? That, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but if you sit like that, I have no respect for you. Well, at least you're playing the game, but, you know. It's the same guy, I'm telling you, it's the same guy that always comes around the corner. I'm getting way too frustrated. I have a teammate going 2-11. Okay, now I'm starting to choke now. I'm starting to do really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, and we're only up by one one kill. Thank you. Oh, a long shot, okay. Okay, we need two more. Come on, boys. Oh my gosh, tie game. Tie game, next kill wins. Oh my gosh, I was gonna hurt it. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to like on this video. Comment down below some tips me you may have for other people that uh, check out the comments in the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Crow Gaming. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.